Greenville's most recent update gave us the addition of vehicle suspension, so today I decided to test it to its limits. By getting some of the already most lifted and lowered vehicles in Greenville, I am able to lower them even further using this new update. Starting off light here, we have the 6x6 Jeep Gladiator, which is already slightly lifted, so let's see how high we can get this thing to sit. So just by maximizing the ride height here, you guys can see that it does get a considerable amount higher, however this is still nowhere near as high as we're going to get the next vehicle. So next up here, we have the infamous lifted Dodge Ram, which is actually already purposely lifted stock. So considering that, that actually means that we should be able to go and change the suspension on it to be even higher, which should make this the most lifted vehicle in Greenville. So as you guys can see, when this thing is stock, it's already so lifted to the point where it barely even fits inside of the wheel slots. But when we lift it, it gets so high to the point where you can see all the suspension completely exposed, and the entire wheel area is literally empty, and it almost looks like as if the wheels are just fully lifting the car above their heads. Alright, and now we're moving on to lowering vehicles, so behind me we actually have the Acadia TSR. Now at first glance this may just look like a normal vehicle, and technically it is, but due to the car being such an old model, the fitment on the wheels actually does make it appear to be a bit lower, which means that if we do lower it, it will lower even more than the average car. So if we completely lower the ride height and the camber, you guys can see that this thing gets extremely lowered, to the point where it's literally almost touching the ground, and the next car is only going to be more lowered than this. And now for the last vehicle we have the swag wagon ever since the swag wagon came out it's always been known as the one vehicle in greenville that is actually cambered stock and was well known for that before the suspension feature came out but now that it's came out i'm going to test out how low and cambered you can actually get this thing so lowering all the options on this thing making sure it'll be the lowest vehicle in greenville you guys can see that once it is finished it is extremely lowered now even though it's not literally touching the ground like you'd probably expect the amount of camber this thing has is actually unreal because since the vehicle is already pretty cambered stock, when you do it yourself, that just multiplies it. And it gets to the point where the vehicle is barely even touching the ground, as the wheels are essentially standing on their toes, because only the corners of them are actually touching the ground. And surprisingly, even when this thing looks like this, it can still actually drive, however, it does affect the performance quite noticeably. But yeah, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys did enjoy it, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next one.